Let's get into it. What a week. Despite the fact that he publicly admitted to fabricating numerous aspects of his resume, Republican leaders put my evil alter ego, George Santos. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> they put him on two House committees this week, the Committee on Small Business and the Committee on Science, Space, and Technology. I'm not sure Santos is really qualified to weigh in on small business as the founder of Apple. Among his other minor fibs, Santos previously claimed that his mother was in the World Trade Center on 9-11 and later died of a 9-11 related cancer. In reality, Santos' mother was only briefly in the World Trade Center on 9-11 and she did not die of cancer, but instead of injuries sustained while piloting a plane. Fortunately for our show, Georgia's secrets will not sashay away. According to a Brazilian drag queen who was friends with Santos, everyone in the Brazilian gay community knew the new congressman as either Anthony or Katara, his drag name. Let's hope Georgia's act is more believable than the normal congressman drag show he's now found himself stuck in. Because the Republican platform in 2023 is very clear that men dressing uh, in makeup and gowns is just for the bedroom when your emotionally broken wife is out of town. Santos quickly denied the allegation, tweeting, the most recent obsession from the media claiming that I am a drag queen or performed as a drag queen is categorically false. He capitalized queen as if it's his heart. It's like his heart capitalized the Q. The only time he ever felt safe as Katara, the only time he ever was truly himself. If George, is, if George Santos is pissed that other people are making outrageous claims about his life, wait till he finds out about George Santos. <laughs> I don't know a thing about drag or drag race or whether Shangela was robbed or what happened to the butterflies or whether it was unfair all-stars that Shay got three points or if people are excited to see Jinx in Chicago or if you can find the uncut Sherry Pie episodes online. This is ridiculous. Anyway, no sooner had George Santos denied the claim that the New York Post uncovered video of him discussing doing drag in Rio. This fucking guy. <laughs> Pretending he had nothing to do with the one cool thing he's ever done? Who do you think you are, Scalia's murderer? And now, <laughs> and now an open letter. Dear RuPaul, it may have come to your attention that a man by the name of George Santos, if that's his real name, which it isn't, has recently been elected to national office in one of the great drag performances of all time, pretending to be a qualified candidate for Congress. We have now learned that before he became the congressional candidate, George Santos of Long Island, he became the live performer Katara of Rio de Janeiro. It seems like George is probably afraid to resign because he's got nowhere else to go and people found out he stole money from a veteran's GoFundMe meant to treat their dog's cancer. Woof. Rue, your country needs you once again. Invite him to apply to Drag Race if he resigns his seat. Congress's loss can be all of our gain. Thank you. Meanwhile, a Republican strategist who was working for the Georgia GOP in Herschel Walker's campaign has filed a sexual battery civil lawsuit against conservative activist Matt Schlapp and his wife Mercedes Schlapp, a former Trump aide. The aide alleges that Schlapp groped his crotch without consent as he was driving Schlapp home from an Atlanta bar in October. Boy, you just hate to see a stain like this on Herschel Walker's otherwise immaculate campaign. <laughs> While sharing a stage at Davos, Senator Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin agreed that they would continue to oppose killing the filibuster, and then they high-fived. Difference for the American people in the last two years. And we still don't agree on getting rid of the filibuster. That's correct. Right? Thank you. I, I was... I was uh... Look, as much as we dislike them individually, there is something nice about their friendship. They're like Wario Frog and Toad. <laughs> In response to a Republican request regarding classified documents found in his garage, the White House, of course, said they don't keep a visitor log at President Biden's Delaware residence. I mean, who can keep track? So many people are trying to kick it with the J-man, said Biden, scraping three untouched charcuterie plates into the garbage. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Look, no one keeps visitor logs at their house. This is the Biden residence, not Derek Jeter's apartment in the early 2000s. There's no one doing processing. You know, not enough people knew about it. There, you don't know, not enough people remember that story about how there was like a gift bag and a process when you slept with Derek Jeter, which he then later denied. Anybody? Okay, so it just wasn't a great joke. That's fine. 
That's like saying, no, 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 you look great in this picture. I don't want to hear that I look great in the fucking picture. That means that's what I fucking look like. If someone says I look bad in this picture, you say, yeah, yeah, you look terrible. You look so much better in real life. You don't say, no, no, it's a good picture. That doesn't do anything for anybody. <laughs> when did you people get here? <laughs> On Thursday, the Supreme Court issued a report on its investigation into the leaked Dobbs draft, announcing that it has been, quote, unable to identify a person responsible by a preponderance of the evidence. But if you play the report backwards, it says Alito did it. <laughs> Over in New York, Governor Kathy Hochul evoked the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in her defense over embattled judicial nominee Hector LaSalle, who's facing criticism for rulings on unions, crisis pregnancy centers, and racial composition of juries. In her speech at a Bronx church on MLK Day, uh, she said, Dr. King called upon us to be just and to be fair and to not judge people. And that has not been afforded to an individual named Judge Hector LaSalle. When he was gunned down, assassinated, my family sat there and held hands and wept. How could this be, Hochul said. How could this man of God who taught us about nonviolence and social justice and change and not judging people by the color of their skin or one or two cases out of 5,000 cases decided? <laughs> Look, there, we all know that there are two equally bad ways to judge people, the color of their skin and the decisions and actions they take in their careers. <laughs> Subsequently, on Wednesday, the Senate Judiciary Committee in New York voted to reject Hochul's nomination. Uh, they released a statement which they read, I have a dream that you'll nominate someone else. <laughs> it may be uh, the most out of left field recent news story. Our national egg nightmare continues with an avian flu outbreak and questions about price gouging causing the price of eggs to skyrocket across the country. Hey, hey man, I uh, heard you're looking for some, uh, some white oval. Yeah. Some Scrambler's Delight. Excuse, <laughs> Excuse me? You trying to buy some goop in the shell? Who, <laughs> who are you? What is this? People call me the Egg Man. I got the egg hookup, baby. Any kind of eggs you want at the affordable prices you crave. My real name's Ralph. You can call me the Egg Man or Ralph or, or the Egg Man. Either is fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Ralph. I really prefer you call me the egg man. <laughs> I, I mean, most people do. All right. I'm, I'm still might go with Ralph. So where are these eggs? Do I have to follow you to your car or something? No need. Got them right here in my coat. You sell loose eggs out of a coat? <laughs> is anyone buying them? Are you kidding me? Business is booming, my friend. A month ago, I was just some weird hot guy walking around town <laughs> with his pockets full of eggs. But then Joe Flation sends the price of eggs to the moon, and today, I'm a successful entrepreneur. My uncle sold weed and called himself an entrepreneur, but whatever. Straight up baller. I got pockets full of gold, baby. High cholesterol gold. I okay. guess I wasn't done. <laughs> All right, look. Inflation's actually not to blame for this one, at least not the main reason. There's one problem that a bunch of chickens got sick. The chicken workforce is fucked. Uh, no offense. But who do you think really has more insight on what's going on with eggs? Some nerd who reads the news or the guy who has like three dozen eggs in his pockets? Okay. I really think it's me, Ralph, but uh, I think I'm right about this. <laughs> Suit yourself, brother. Customer's always right. What can I set you up with today? <laughs> I just got some totally primo shit from this duck farm up in Bakersfield. <laughs> it's going to really unlock you spiritually and creatively. The, the egg. I didn't. Huh, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I wasn't really looking for spirituality in, in an egg. Roger that. It's also dope in omelets. I mean, listen. All right. The, the egg I was talking yeah, I know, about the egg. from earlier. Yeah, the egg from earlier. It's Bakersfield. For, it's the egg. The, the duck eggs from Bakersfield yes, that unlock your spirituality. Clearly, also yes. good for omelets. Yes, you're listening. Yeah. So look, <laughs> if you just have like maybe some like normal chicken eggs at like a decent price, I'd take a few of those. Like I'm not. I'm not going to turn down an egg bargain. Mm, sorry, amigo. No chicken eggs in stock at the moment. I don't know if you've heard about this whole avian flu going around. Yeah, that's what I brought up like a second ago. A second ago, I talked about the avian flu. That was the reason we were talking about the egg prices going up. But baby, you, <laughs> you don't know what you've been missing with some of these alternative eggs. Freaky shit. Makes your taste buds wild out. Hey, John, you ever have uh, crow eggs? I'm doing two for one. Crow eggs? Uh, it seems gross. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. 
but they're clean. I've tested them for fentanyl. Why, why would eggs have fentanyl? Don't even worry about it. I got tons of other options. Gold eggs, pigeon eggs, snake eggs. What's your pleasure? Hey, you haven't lived. Until <laughs> you've sampled the slithery, my man. It's more uh, of a body egg, you know. <laughs> a sink into the couch can, egg. All right, listen. <laughs> the snake eggs, there's a body egg. That's yeah. what you're saying. A snake egg gives you a body feeling. It's not one of those head eggs. Right. So listen, I'll take three of those duck eggs you mentioned if, you, if that'll get you to leave me alone. Right you are, sir. Coming right up. Uh, so uh, all the duck eggs all broke. Um, sure. I guess I sat down too hard or something. I can like scoop up some of it for you. You got a baggie? No. No, that's enough. Get out of here, Eggman Ralph. All right, but if anybody needs some pure Colombian grade A sea turtle eggs, I'll be loitering over near the concessions. And if somebody tells you they've got platypus eggs, it's a fucking scam, all right? Uh, trust me. Eggman Ralph, everybody. Hey, get out of here. It's the Eggman. <laughs> it's the Eggman. Brian Posehn, everybody. The Eggman. That was good. That was better than I expected. <laughs> for something so stupid. <laughs> anyway, that's our transition. Protests and strikes broke out across France this week over government plans to raise the age of retirement from 60 to 64 in order to collect a full pension. Obviously, we're with the French workers on this, but we're still a little envious that their labor movement is so far along that they're defending pensions. Every U.S. story about a strike is like, drivers want Amazon to stop charging five bucks for each old plastic Kroger bag they're forced to shit in. <laughs> and Amazon's like, can't be done. <laughs> We'll shut this whole plant down before we do that. They got to pay for the bags. This whole business runs on them paying for the fucking bags. <laughs> Meanwhile, taking advantage of Elon Musk's new Twitter blue, Taliban officials have started dropping $8 to get blue verified check marks on the social network. Fine by me. Maybe I'll finally stop getting scammed into sending money to the fake Taliban. Among other, among other portentous omens for its business, Twitter auctioned off a range of office supplies, fancy kitchen equipment, and other memorabilia. More like let that sink out. <laughs> Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, plans to reverse a rule banning topless photos for women after an oversight board found it unclear how the rules apply to intersex, non-binary, and transgender users. The oversight board cited multiple instances of content moderators driven to madness in their efforts to discern between good nipples and bad nipples. <laughs> Before, <laughs> before being forced into extended nipple leave. <laughs> now, when you say to yourself, let's see what my aunt's been up to, you have to really want to know because the stakes have never been higher. <laughs> Scientists in Japan are seeing results in reversing the aging symptoms of genetically modified mice. The gene therapy used on these mice has shown to restore the animals to a more active, youthful state. I can't wait to use this on my disgusting old hag of a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> the, older, the older subjects that did not respond to treatment were moved to Mouse Manor, where they will date hot young single mice. But there's a twist. <laughs> Alec Baldwin, as well as the film's armor, will be charged with manslaughter for accidentally shooting and killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the Western Rust. Look, when this movie ends up with a 61 on Metacritic, that's when we'll know it was all worth it. Oof, that was tough. That was tough. You should not point a gun at someone that you're not willing to shoot, said Santa Fe County District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwis. That goes to basic safety standards. This is America. We shoot people on purpose. It's about to lighten up. You're fine. <laughs> Don't worry. I got a real zany one coming for you. Leader of the notorious Sicilian mob, Matteo Messina Denaro, who was caught this week after 30 years on the run. Denaro was the mastermind of several murders and bombings throughout the 90s, even bragging that he filled a cemetery all by myself. Oh, you did, said the gravedigger? Porca miseria. I guess I must have gotten these unrelenting back spasms from jerking off. No, no, Giuseppe, <laughs> said the mobster. I was speaking figuratively. Everybody in the town understands how hard you work digging graves for the many people I've proudly killed over the years. But nobody says it, Giuseppe moaned. I dig, I sleep, I dig, I sleep. Keep it up, Giuseppe, and the last hole you'll dig will be your own, said Matteo. 
done, Mateo. I'm so sorry. I forget myself. Please accept this dirt as an apology for my disrespect. And finally, the world's oldest woman, a French nun, died at the age of 118. Thankfully, nobody else was killed when her meth lab exploded. (laughs) 